Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. There's been a lot of news lately about electric trucks. There's a lot of controversy about electric trucks as far as range, towing, hauling. How far will they actually be able to tow? Yeah, towing impressive numbers is great until you stop to charge every 45 minutes. Not so great. So it's really interesting. I got a phone call the other day from, from folks at Magna. So this is the company. They're developing an E-beam. Of course, something electric's got an E, right? Apple's got an I, E, whatever. It's electrified rear axle that doesn't compromise any towing or hauling capability. I know, it's, it's pretty interesting stuff. So I'm gonna play you the video I got and you can watch along with me and, and you know, we can enjoy it together, get your popcorn ready. And we will watch this video, you can kind of work through what they're doing, a really good engineering video. And then at the end, we'll kind of, I'll give you my thoughts on it. And we'll kind of wrap things up. So, I kind of feel like a teacher in a classroom. All right, all right sit down, be quiet. Knock it off, you knuckleheads. Let's go ahead and get to the video right now. The future of mobility might very well be driven by electrification and autonomy, but some will have a more active role in defining and creating the future than others. As one of the largest suppliers in the mobility space, we help automakers and new entrants move people and goods forward. We develop solutions that make cars safer, cleaner, and smarter. The future will change how each and every one of us use and interact with our vehicles. We leverage our decades of automotive experience and unique structure that allows us to operate like a startup and innovate like a tech company. In fact, we deliver innovative solutions that people didn't even know they needed until we brought them to market and now they can't live without them. Innovative solutions like stow and go seats that revolutionized the minivan market rear view cameras years before U.S. legislation mandated them, and automated driving features like our trailer angle detection technology that debuted on the Ford F-150, which surely has reduced the anxiety that we all felt, as well as accidents in trying to maneuver campers, trailers, and boats into tight spots. These are just a few of the products developed by our entrepreneurial employees who know that every advancement in mobility helps build a better world for everyone. And nowhere is that more relevant than helping to create a cleaner, more sustainable future. We've actually been at this for a while, but we're accelerating our efforts, making vehicles lighter, more efficient, and delivering a range of powertrain options as our industry progresses towards full electrification. And now I would like to turn it over to my colleague, Tom Rucker, president of Magna Powertrain Group, to explain how a new Magna technology can quickly convert an existing vehicle to electric drive. Tom? Thanks, Sharif. As we consider what's ahead of us, I want to begin by sharing a story that started when we asked ourselves, how do we maintain the strength and functionality of a conventional pickup truck and choose to protect our environment? This is a bold endeavor to electrify pickup trucks whose owners demand the towing and hauling capabilities they are used to currently. It's no secret the light duty pickup truck segment is extremely important to automakers. Last year, one in five vehicles sold in the US were either midsize or full size trucks. Pickup trucks are also one of the last vehicle segments to become fully electrified. That means there is a huge portion of the market that requires significant change to achieve the emission goals being set by automakers and governments. But change can be scary for pickup truck owners who don't want to give up the capabilities that are so important to their lifestyle or business. Our powertrain electrification work and decades of experience engineering and manufacturing light truck products sets Magna apart 
when it comes to understanding where the truck market is headed. Bottom line, we know trucks and we know electrification. And we now have a way for automakers to electrify their trucks without sacrificing utility or capability. Our journey has led us to develop Magna's E-Beam technology. E-Beam is a new family of Magna powertrain products that enables truck buyers to do all the things they normally do, except with an electric powertrain. Sounds impressive, right? To understand E-Beam, we have to start with the axle. Axles are one of the core elements of a truck's strength and are integral in determining how much a truck can carry or tow. However, the solid beam rear axle common to trucks has not seen any significant change for over 100 years. But not long ago, a small team of Magna engineers who happened to be truck enthusiasts took up the challenge of creating a product for electrifying a traditional pickup truck without harming its ability to haul lumber or pull a boat up a long mossy boat ramp. The team spent months benchmarking and stress testing traditional beam axle systems on Michigan's bumpy roads. They challenged the trucks in wintry conditions, on sand dunes and by adding thousands of pounds of weight while also towing another vehicle. They wanted to ensure the components they developed had the durability to do all the things truck users need them to do. The result is the scalable E-Beam family of products, enabling electrification of mid-size up to heavy-duty pickup trucks, as well as light commercial vehicles such as delivery vans. The solution is not only economical, but also utilizes existing truck suspension and chassis architectures, resulting in no loss of capability. E-Beam can be used as part of a battery electric or hybrid powertrain system and is available in several variants. Truck manufacturers can select a single motor, single speed, a single motor with two speeds, or a twin motor E-Beam with a single speed and torque vectoring. Each variant offers different capability depending on the vehicle's need. There are so many smart design elements, it is difficult to know where to begin. But to name a few, E-Beam offers a structure-oriented design to support high payload vehicles with matching power for continuous duty usage. A simple gear ratio change is all that is needed to transition E-Beam from pickup truck service to light commercial vehicle service. With fewer moving parts than a traditional IC powertrain, E-Beam requires less maintenance, a direct benefit to electric truck owners over the life of the vehicle. Finally, E-Beam does not require unique suspension, chassis or brake systems. The reuse of existing truck architectures is a huge benefit for automakers and consumers alike as it preserves payload and towing capacities, off-road capability, and ground clearance. The move toward vehicle electrification can seem daunting to some, but for Magna engineers and designers, it gives us the opportunity to create more innovative solutions to complex problems. And prove that consumers don't have to give up their favorite vehicles. The planet can be protected, and Magna is once again at the forefront of tech leadership. Thank you for joining us today. All right, I think that's a really interesting idea. And these folks at Magna, you know, they developed that backup trailer assist. They've developed other things with Ford and different brands. And a lot of times it happens is tier one suppliers like these guys will develop new technologies and go to the OEMs and say, hey, you know, do you want to buy this from us? Because that's the position they're in too. They're also trying to innovate and create products they can sell because that's well, how business works. I did ask the Magnet folks if, it, uh, if their axles suspect of rust, as you've maybe followed in this channel. I've had a lot of videos lately on rust on new F50 I have, and they told me it's up to the OEM. So if the OEM, like Ford, GM, RAM, whatever, if they do not want rust on their rear axle, 
they can code it. If they don't care, they leave it uncoded. So that's the story on that. Um, I do think it's really interesting though that this setup, you know, we're talking right now with a lot of EVs where they have motors in each hub and have this stuff going on. You can, you can control them, but you know, if you can take an existing truck, an existing truck platform and not change anything and just drop this in and call it good and then made it to like a hybrid system or to a full electric system, it seems like it's simple. And I like the KISS system. Keep it simple, stupid. I like that system a lot. And so I'm pretty interested in this. I, I'm, I'm guessing I'm gonna see this in the future at some press event, a new trucking gets unveiled. And this, in my view, could really go in that new F, F-150 EV. Seems like it's a pretty simple swap. Could be uh, the future of rear axles right there. So there you go. I thought it was really interesting stuff. I hope you guys found it interesting as well. Make sure you check out the video out over here for more interesting stuff. It's a good time. Website down below, as always. Thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.